This is Caster on Sea in Great Yarmouth. Uh, this is Caster Lifeboat, the only independent lifeboat in the country. Uh, we're very proud of what facilities we have in Caster. The biggest problems we have is a mixture of everything really, you know, last week uh, for instance we uh, were searching for a diver for 14 hours, we do have searchlights on the boat, they're quite limited, uh, if there's someone in the water then obviously the, the radar's no good, you just need to keep your eye out. The traditional method of the lifeboat going out, it will allocate a search pattern. So if they've got a person in the water and if the person's on the opposite side of a wave to them, they could be 20 metres away from the boat and they still don't see them. The mesh network system allows the drones to all communicate together and relays that information with the base system on the lifeboat. So now we can have multiple drones that can now be an eye in the sky. So instead of covering an area of maybe 50 square metres with the lifeboat, we can now cover 500 metres. The project with Caster is a development from Fleet Lights in 2016, which was all about uh, high performance fixes to everyday problems, which is something really close to Direct Line's heart. This has naturally led us down this route into search and rescue as a result of open sourcing the code. And what it means now is we're able to provide our technology in order to find people at sea five times faster than they're currently able to. If we had a drill up uh, and search independently from us, basically we've got fantastic technology on the boat, but the best course of if you're searching for someone is your eyes. And the more eyes you've got searching the sea, uh, the better. You know, it's the future.